Helen, it's lovely to have you with us here again at the Triathlon Show. And we can't really avoid the uh, the conversation. The topic is 2012 Olympic year, and it's it's at home here in London. So, how's your preparation going? Yeah, preparation is going well so far. I had a break at the end of last year, at the end of the season, and then it's just about getting back into winter training. I did a few camps in Lanzarote just to get get away from the cold weather. But things seem to be progressing well, and um, heading to Australia soon to uh, to start the season. How long was the break that you had? Like two weeks off completely and probably... So no training at all? Yeah, no training, lots of eating, <laughs> just relaxing really and then um, yeah, I built back into it slowly. And the running took a little bit longer because my, my calves got quite tight at the end of last year and just had a few niggles so it's just uh, it's important just to keep it, keep it slow building up but yeah everything seems to have gone pretty well since then. What's it like when you're used to training? I guess you're training somewhere around 25 hours a week or something like that to, to go from training that amount to, to doing nothing. I mean, two weeks go so quickly, but do you enjoy it or do you do you miss the training? I do enjoy having the break because I, I think mentally you need the break. I don't know if your body does, but mentally I need to be not going out the door training every day. And I really enjoy having the time off, being able to catch up with friends and family. I think it's really important to have a balance, and especially with you know, this year being such a big year, it can take over your life. I mean, it's 2012, we've been thinking about it for years, and now it's finally here. So just making sure that you do keep perspective and have balance to, to your life, is, I think is really important. Yeah, the, I, I guess the perspective and the balance is so important. But how do you avoid that kind of all-consuming thought that it is 2012, that the Olympics are just around the corner? Do you wake up every morning and go, oh my god, I'm, I'm training for the Olympics, or, or do you just tend to put that to the back of your mind? I try to put it to the back of my mind. I just focus on every day, what I've got to do today, what training I've got on this week, and, and break it down like that. I mean, the, the Olympics is there, August the 4th, I part. That's, you know, that's the main goal, but there's different steps on the way. There's the first few races, there's the training session tomorrow, there's you know, my swim you know, tomorrow night, it's, it's those kind of things and I just think about them. I mean, I'm not saying it's not in my mind, I mean, um, I probably think about the Olympics every day. And you obviously you get the countdown, 160 days, 150 days, so it's, uh, I try not to think about that stuff and just try and get on with my day-to-day -day training. You, you do always look just so composed and so chilled and I've known you for years and you just, you just don't change, you're still as lovely, you're still as relaxed. But what's it like kind of going into these Olympics knowing that everyone is looking at you, that you are without doubt the favourite, you're number one in the world, how much pressure does that put on you? I think, yeah, I think there is more pressure, but uh, I've, um, I've worked with a sports psychologist as well and I mean, I'm not, it, doesn't, it doesn't work for everyone, but I mean, she's a good friend of mine and so we just chat about things. It's important to, to keep it all in perspective. It, it comes down to doing exactly the same as we do week in, week out. It's the same distance to swim, the same girls I'm racing against, the same bike, the same run. And I'm, I think we've got the benefit of racing in Hyde Park in the past few years. So you know, I'm just thinking about it as, as the race and, and what I've got to do in the race rather than, I think, rather than getting swept along with the whole Olympics and the excitement of it. It is really exciting, but it's keeping that excitement in perspective. I hope I've learned from Beijing as well, whereas going to that Olympics, I hope I've learned how to deal with the, kind of the Olympic environment a little bit better. And, you know, I mean, everyone gets nervous for races, everyone feels the pressure, but it's pressure you apply to yourself, so it's important. I, I've got to keep that in perspective. <laughs> And, uh, and talking about your competitors, um, um, is it something that you kind of find yourself now with kind of with Twitter, with you know everyone blogging and stuff? Do you find yourself trying to follow what you know, like someone like Paul is doing or, or something? Do you, or Emma Moffat? Are you kind of looking on their websites, looking on their blogs? Yeah, I am on Twitter, and um, so you do see yeah, you do see what people are coming up and putting on there every day. You know, I'm doing this training, that training, doing this, and so it's. it's it's always uh, it's always interesting, but it's important not to get like carried away with it. I've got to focus on what I'm doing, and, and I can't control what you know what all my competitors are doing and, and their training. And, you know, so I try not to you know be too aware of it. Again, focus on it comes back to focusing on yourself and, and everything you can control. Really. Yeah, absolutely. So you're off to Australia um, in a couple of weeks' time, and you'll be racing there. 
Yeah, my first race is going to be the Sydney World Champ Series, which is a little bit daunting to have that as my first race. A lot of people are going to be like so fit and like it's selection for a huge amount of countries. So I'm going into it as it's going to be my first race. But I have to keep it in perspective that my goal is August, and that's why I'm waiting till Sydney to race. I don't want to start racing too early. I've got to try and you know, get it right for August and not worry worry about the early stuff. Yeah, exactly. And then back to Europe and you'll obviously have a couple more races over here before the big one. Yeah, yeah, so do it just doing the first few races, that's where the best competition is gonna be, the best girls are gonna be racing. So that's that's why I'm gonna be travelling to the first few World Champ series and then yeah, have more of a focus and prepare at home for the it's a home game, so I wanna be preparing at home in my home environment and you know, using the things around me that, that help me. You do, you do talk often about the fact that you really do enjoy being at home and you enjoy training at home, so in the build up to London you'll be training in Wales and Bridgend for you? Yeah, yeah, as much as I can. I mean, um, we don't know what it's going to be like with, um, I guess, um, media expectation and there's going to be a lot of media pressure because it is a home Olympics. We're not really going to know what it's going to be, going to feel like until it actually happens. But, you know, everyone at home pretty much leaves me alone to get on with what I'm doing for, for most of the time. So hopefully um, I'll be able to do my best preparation at home. Well, no pressure. Great Britain, the Great Britain team has done incredibly well at World Championships, but we're yet to win a medal at the Olympics. So, uh, obviously, no pressure on the current world number one triathlete. It's really nice talking to you. We wish you so much love for, for all of us. Thank you.